this is Matt Ogle, and I'm speaking today with Coach Chris Hogan. All right, so Coach Cypress Christian, it's become kind of a brand in recent years. You said you won at 20, 21, 22. You've been, the kids that are here right now have been to it every year for the past four years. Uh, what kind of culture have you instilled into this, into this, the success of this program? What do you do differently that other coaches might not? Well, we try to create a culture of ownership. So when the players own the culture and it's a player-driven program, it's like anything else. It's almost like skin in the game. When the players have the steering wheel and the accelerator, you know, it, it leads to a culture of, uh, well, of ownership. They want to they be uh, held responsible, held accountable for the results. And it bleeds over into off-season and it bleeds over into details. So I would say the culture of ownership is, is big. Also the culture of unity. Uh, the motto of our athletic department is one heart. And so we want to be unified in what we're doing. And then we want the students to own the process. And so I think those are the two most uh, important cultural pieces, besides obviously our Christian heritage and trying to live up, live up to those yes, lofty standards. Very interesting. I could see they have a certain camaraderie among each other and they do kind of joke around, but I mean, obviously, whenever the going gets tough, they seem to be able to stand up to it every single time. Uh, what do you try to encourage them or instill in them on off the field as well as on the field? What, what influence do you have on them that kind of impacts them for the rest of their life, you think? So we're pretty intentional about the discipleship process, and we have a, a, a little phrase that we use, and the phrase is gentleman warrior gentleman warrior so that is the epitome i think of what you would want a man to be right you want a man to be gentle and kind and considerate when he's supposed to and then be a warrior when he's supposed to that's a really great mentality to go ahead moving forward uh what do you think what influence has your coaching experience had on your life how do you think it's kind of helped you to hone your ability i'm assuming you have process of uh, successes and failures that kind of shape your the structure of your program what do you think your experience has done that for you well I think uh, being with young people and helping people reach their goals and pulling out of a student uh, or even adults pulling out how good they can be and trying to put it in, in front of their eyes because everybody is made in God's image and that he has a plan for everybody but a lot of times when you're in those awkward teenage years you may not see that you're thinking about fitting in and not getting isolated and things like that but i think for me the biggest blessing has been to help kids reach their potential so that's had a profound impact on me to help people succeed try to put them in a position to succeed and sometimes you can't you can't do it for them but you can certainly give them the tools and position them to succeed and that's been a very gratifying process for me that's one of the favorite things i like about this job it's Kind of you see sometimes it, it might be subtle but the impact of giving them a platform they obviously have to do all the work but or most of the work but kind of spreading their voice it's another way of that i, I definitely feel a lot of gratitude and compassion for that aspect um you said you also went to grapevine faith what was the other school you went to so i was at grapevine faith for 17 years prior to coming to uh, cypress cypress christian three years ago and i and i love cypress this is, this is an a unbelievable place with unbelievable people, and I feel very blessed to be here. I feel called to be here, and I feel blessed to be a part of this community. Yeah, it's, a lot of the kids kind of concur with that. They, figure, they like the faith-based aspect, and it makes everyone more tightly knit in the community. Uh, so what are your expectations for this season? I mean, <laughs> I'm a state, state title or bust, but who do you think is going to be your, your real standouts this year? Who are you looking forward to seeing? Well, uh, two questions, expectations for the season. So we have four goals, and one of the four goals is to win the closure. So we want to win the opener. We want to win the district championship. We want to practice at Thanksgiving. We want to win the closure. That's our program goals. And so the expectation, you know, I, the expectation to put ourselves in position to reach those goals. And so, you know, you can't, you can't just say, you know, here's our goal, and if we don't hit this goal, the season's a bust, mm -hmm. uh, because all you can do is your best, right? And there's other great teams in the state of Texas. So positioning ourselves to reach our goals, that's our expectation. 
That's a lot of hard work. Yes, sir. But we don't expect anything less than that. 